What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making the best bass fishing tackle box for any beginner bass fisherman or anyone looking to get started in bass fishing. These are going to be some good lure suggestions on what you should add to your tackle box. And hope you guys enjoy. Firstly, we're going to need an empty tackle box to make this video happen. Firstly, we're going to start off with our top water section. You're going to want to get a spook. This works great in open water situations when you're you jerk the end of your rod tip and it will walk like this on the water surface. Bass love these. Secondly, for the top water section, look at a whopper plopper. Any whopper plopper that has these work. I like the Weston ones that have the two blades. But basically, when this goes across the water, these will plop, causing a disturbance in the water. Bass will come out from where they're hiding and have huge blow ups on these. Now for the second section of this tackle box, we're going to crankbaits. You got this square bill crankbait, which I personally love fishing square bills. These will dive down and have amazing action in the water. If you fish them long enough, fish will always bite these. Secondly, for this section, we're gonna have the lipless crankbait. The action on these is just as good. Fish love these just as much. Next up, we got the chatterbait, one of my favorite lures to throw, especially in open water. I love the skirt on these makes them have a bit larger appearance than they actually do. And you can add almost any trailer at the end of it. You can add craw trailers, just swim bait trailers. They just come in hun like hundreds of different color patterns. Now you may be wondering what lure are you gonna use if you find yourself in a situation where there's tons of brush and weeds under the water that you are gonna get all those other lures stuck on and lose those that's where you come that's where these jigs come in place there's tons of different types of jigs there's flipping jigs punching jigs football jigs swim jigs with the weedless profile with this part right here you'll have no problem throwing those right into all that cover that you've been trying to catch that huge bass from last but not least we got the sankos you can Texas rig it or you can wacky rig it. These are definitely something you're not gonna wanna leave the house without considering how highly fish love them. I mean, these sit right down in front of the fish. They eat them all the time. Fish love these, so cannot. Always gotta make sure you have these in your tackle box at all time. So now you got your fully built tackle box. That'll catch fish, 100% of the time catch bass. If you guys help like this video or found it informational or it helped you in any way, make sure you follow and like this video. We're almost at 100 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that soon. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.